Hi, I'm James McGuire, editor of Datamation, and our topic today is software defined networking. We'll talk about key trends in the SDN sector with four experts, including Jude Chow, managing editor of uh, Enterprise Networking Planet. Hello to you, Jude. Hello, James. Uh, so you are, are you in sunny San Diego? Where exactly are you, Jude? I am. I'm in Oceanside. It's a little bit north of San Diego proper, but right on the coast. Okay. Uh, also with us is uh, Sean Michael Kerner, senior editor at uh, Internet News. Hello to you, Sean. Hello, and hello to everybody in Google Hangout land. And, and I know you are our honorary Canadian on, on the panel, which every, every panel should have a Canadian on it. Yes, uh, but, you know, in the spirit of privacy, it was Privacy Day last week. I will say I'm in an undisclosed location. <laughs> Uh, also with us is Art Cole, a software-defined networking specialist and uh, and writer, also contributed to Enterprise Networking Planet. Hey, Art, hello to you. Hi, nice to meet you. And, and, and where are you located, Art? I am in Fredericksburg, uh, just south of uh, Washington, D.C. Uh -huh, okay. And uh, also with us is Jeff Burt, senior editor at eWeek. Hello, Jeff. James, how are you? Good. I know you, you have covered technology since um, the 90s. Is that, is that right about that? 2000. This is year 2000. Okay, I just that yeah. seems like you, you've you've seen some serious changes. It just feels like the 90s. <laughs> so the software-defined networking. I guess the, the question is, you know, what is the state of the of the uh, of the market these days? I mean, Quizzery just put out a survey about adoption trends and and, and key trends. What what is really going on with the software-defined network? Uh, you know, is is it is it really vaporware? Is it really here, or is it you know main you know hugely adopted? Jude, what's your sense of that? How real is the SDN market? You know, my sense is that it's at this point, I think it's safe to say that it's not vaporware. The market is absolutely growing and maturing, especially because the technology is now proving itself in production deployments, although at this stage mostly at telcos and the large cloud companies like Facebook who are making use of it in related technologies. With that being said, it seems that the larger conversation isn't just around software-based networking SDN, but Around other, uh, around other kind of virtualization as well. So you still have VLANs, which are still popular, and NFV, Network Functions Virtualization, is another option organizations have now that's gaining traction as well. Mm -hmm. But it just appears to be that the larger conversation really is virtualization to provide a flexibility that legacy physically-based infrastructure has not been able to. Interesting from the uh, the Quinstreet survey, it's, uh, it asked respondents, and the, the the survey said over the next two to three years, 46 percent of respondents will be using it or planning to deploy it as a solution, which says to me that there's there's some momentum going on. Um, are, are what's your take? Is are you seeing some serious adoption in the SDN market? Well, I was surprised by those numbers when I read them in the survey. They they seemed high to me, and I I I, I didn't look in the real breakdowns, but it would. It seems to me like, you know, 90% of the 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 47% figure, or whatever it was, would be people who are thinking of deploying, and the other 10% are, you know, people who have deployed. I, I don't think there's a there's a whole lot of field experience out there, and what is out there is probably fairly limited scale. Nobody has really pushed this technology to to its to its limits. Not yet. And, you know, certainly within the coming year and within the next two years, you most definitely going to see that. Uh, but the experience right now is, is, from my understanding, largely relegated to the to the lab and the test bed. And you know, only in the past few months have we started to see real production environments, you know, getting spun up. Sean, real production environments is is it, is it really is SDN really out there? What, what's your take on that? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, and, and like Art, I was a little bit uh, surprised by the finding, but reminds me a lot because I know you, you asked uh, Jeff how long he's been writing, and I remember in those early two thousand days when I was writing too, we were writing about uh, voice over IP, uh, and we had some early studies. Oh yeah, ten percent, twenty percent. Nobody does voice over IP studies today because everybody is using it. Right. And it's in kind of direction, I think, with uh, SDN. It's a feature. Uh, incrementally over time, more people will you use it. Uh, I think there's uh, some challenges with definition, which is kind of funny because it's called software defined networking. Right. Uh, but it, but actually, it may not be defined itself. Yeah. It's, it's somewhat ambiguous, but that's a wonderful term. So, uh, 
quantifying that speci specific number of people and how they're using that uh, is always challenging. Uh, and then where the real deployments are, are specifically, my personal opinion, uh, cloud, because most cloud users will use some sort of software-defined networking piece, whether it's in a public cloud, in a hybrid, or even private, uh, though not necessarily, but usually. Uh, and then any type, uh, and this is very early, and this is where I think some of the futures are, is in containers, because uh, container networking is, by and large, software-defined as well. Right. I mean, you think about, you know, SDN is really a subsector of virtualization as a whole, and obviously, you know, is, is there an IT center or a data center that, that is not going to be virtualized, you know, going forward? So it seems like for SDN, it's a question of when, not if. Um, Jeff, your, your take on that, Do you, is, is SDN really happening these days? Yeah, I think uh, I pretty much agree with what's been said. I mean, it's certainly happening in the uh, the larger clouds, um, the larger uh, companies. Um, but I also think what you're seeing now is you're seeing probably a lot of testing going on. Um, and what you'll probably see, I'm guessing, towards the end of ne this year into next year, is you're going to start seeing more ramping of uh, production. Because so I do, th I, I, it's got a lot of a lot of benefits that I think people are just going to to want to take advantage of. 